All right, so I got the potentiometers out of the oscilloscope. They have a nice little connector on them so you don't have to desolder anything. And I measured the resistance on them and it has a nonlinear taper. So I may be able to find a suitable replacement if I do enough research. But instead of doing that, I'm going to try doing what some people suggested, which is using contact cleaner. I purchased this at Lowe's for $8. And from what I can tell, you just spray some of this within the cavity there. And then rotate it back and forth a few times. Okay, so that feels pretty smooth. I'm going to let that dry and do the other one. Okay, I went a little overboard there because this is soaked. Okay, now I'll let those dry. I let them dry for an hour and I added a fan just to dry them a little faster. And now I'm going to put them back in. I placed the potentiometers back into the circuit, each in their previous location. And this time around, I'm just going to be measuring the calibration signal. So it's 0.2 volts peak to peak. And let's turn on the power. So I'm measuring on channel 2. And if I adjust the variable calibration knob here, you can see that's quite stable. It doesn't bump back down to the low setting like it used to. So that's quite good. Now let's try channel 1. Okay, that looks good. Now let's adjust this knob. It does jump around a little bit, but only for a moment. It doesn't jump down there on a regular basis like it was before. So that's quite good. All right, well, thanks for your recommendation to clean the potentiometers using the contact cleaning solution. It seems to have solved the problem. So thank you very much for that. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.